stranger you have brought into our hall. This is my savior, the one who freed me. For my daughter's safe return, you have my gratitude. Tell me, what is your name? I am Harkon, Lord of this court. By now, my daughter will have told you what we are. Perhaps you should. I count some of the oldest and most powerful vampires in Skyrim among the members of my court. For centuries we lived here, far from the cares of the world. All that ended when my wife betrayed me and stole away that which I valued most. You have done me a great service, and now you must be rewarded. There is but one gift I can give that is equal in value to the Elder Scroll and my daughter. I offer you my blood. Take it and you will walk as a lion among sheep. Men will tremble at your approach and you will never fear death again. Yes, I can smell it on you. The power of my blood will purge that filth and make you whole again. I will banish you from this castle. I will spare your life this once, but after that, you are prey. Perhaps you still need convincing. Behold the power! This is the power that I offer. Now, make your choice. So be it. You are prey, like all mortals. I banish you. I should have known it was only a matter of time before they found us. It's the price we pay for openly recruiting. We'll have to step up our defenses. I don't suppose you have some good news for me. Damn. Well, what do you know? A woman? Trapped in there? That doesn't make any sense. Who is she? More importantly, where is she? I'm waiting to hear what any of this means. 
They what? And you didn't stop them? You didn't secure the scroll? I suppose you're lucky you're not dead. Or worse, one of them. By the Divines. This couldn't get much worse. This is more than you and I can handle. Well, of course we do. I'm old, not stupid. We're just going to need some help. If they're bold enough to attack us here, then this may be bigger than I thought. I have good men here, but... There are people I've met and worked with over the years. We need their skills, their talents, if we're going to survive this. If you can find them, we might have a chance. Read to the point, aren't you? I like that. Not like those fools in the Order. We should keep it small. Too many people and we'll draw unwanted attention. I think we'll want Serene Gerard. Breton girl, whip smart and good with Tinker. Last I knew, she was out. Might need a... You'll also want to find gun. Got it into... Last I... Bring the two of them back here. And we can get started on coming up with... Give up while you still can. You haven't seen a sack full of dwarven gyros lying around, have you? I'd swear I left it right here. Do you think mud crabs might have taken it? I saw one the other day. Wouldn't be surprised if it followed me here. Just look around, will you? Isron? I find it... Anyway, I'm quite happy in my current pursuits. So if you'll excuse me... Vampire... Oh, and I... Well... What are they up to? I... I'm not sure. But I'm not... So either I need to find the satchel, those... I'm sorry, but I'm not about... I understand. A single gyro would be enough, I... Well, then I'm very sorry, but I can't just walk away from this project yet. I under... A single gyro would be enough, I think. Believe me, this is useful stuff. Mm-hmm. Just one gyro, one, and I can get back to work. Where are they?
Old Gyro would be enough. Thank you. Now, where is it, Isran? Ah, I'll finish up here and head in that direction as soon as I can. You there! Hold fast! I've tracked this damned bear for two weeks. I'll not let it have any more victims. Ethron? I'm afraid he's a... Besides... He... That... Tell me more about what's going... By the... Alright. Once it's dealt with, then perhaps I'll see what Ethron expects of me. I don't know how well I'd have managed by myself. You have my thanks. You've helped me, so I suppose the least I can do is find out what Isran wants. He's still at that fort near Stendar's beacon, I assume. Of course. He's been working. His own. I'll meet you there.
All right, Isran. You've got us all here. Now what do you want? Hold it right there! What are you doing? Making sure you're not vampires. Can't be too careful. So welcome to Fort Dawnguard. I'm sure you've heard a bit of what we're up against. Powerful vampires, unlike anything we've seen before. And they have an Elder Scroll. If anyone is going to stand in their way, it's going to be us. This is all well and good, but do we actually know anything about what they're doing? What do we do now? We'll get to that. For now, get acquainted with the space. Soreen, you'll find room to put your tinkering on that crossbow design you've been working on. Gunmar, an area large enough for you to pen up some patrols. Get the armored up and ready for use. In the meantime, we're going to get to the bottom of why a vampire showed up here looking for you. Let's go have a little chat with it, shall we? I knew it would come to this one day. I knew, and no one believed. This vampire showed up while you were away. I'm guessing it's the one you found in Dim Hollow Crypt. Says it's got something really important to say to you. So let's hear it. You probably weren't expecting to see me again. I'd rather not be here either, but I needed to talk to you. It's important, so please just listen before your friend here loses his patience. It's... Well, it's about me and the Elder Scroll that was buried with me. The reason I was down there and why I had the Elder Scroll... It all comes back to my father. I'm guessing you figured this part out already, but my father's not exactly a good person, even by vampire standards. He wasn't always like that, though. There was... a turn. He stumbled onto this obscure prophecy and just kind of lost himself in it. It's pointless and vague, like all prophecies. The part he latched onto said that vampires would no longer need to fear the sun. That's what he's after. He wants to control the sun. Have vampires control the world. Anyway, my mother and I didn't feel like inviting a war with all of Tamriel, so we tried to stop him. That's why I was sealed away with a scroll. I'm sorry. I had heard there were vampire hunters here. I thought they might want to know about a vampire plot to enslave the rest of the world.
so let's hear it. You probably weren't exp I'd rather not- It's important. It's- The reason I- It all come- I'm guessing you- He wasn't always like that, though. It's pointless. That's what- Anyway, my mother and I- I did. But something about you makes me think I can trust you. I hope I'm not wrong. Well, let's move then. I'm nothing if not persuasive. All right, you've heard what it has to say. Now tell me, is there any reason I shouldn't kill this blood-sucking fiend right now? Why? Because of that story about the prophecy about some vampire trying to put the sun out? Do you actually believe any of that? Who knows? Maybe it has a death wish. Maybe it's just insane. I don't really care. It can stay for now. But if it so much as lays a finger on anyone here, I'll hold you responsible. Got it? You hear me? Don't feel like a guest, because you're not. You're a resource. You're an asset. In the meantime, don't make me regret my sudden outburst of tolerance and generosity. Because if you do, your friend here is going to pay for it. Thank you for your kindness. I'll remember it the next time I'm feeling hungry. So, in case you didn't notice the giant thing on my back, I have the Elder Scroll with me. Whatever it says, it will have something that can help us stop my father. But, of course, neither of us can read it. Well, the moth. Not that it helps us anyway, because they're all half a continent away. In Cyrodiil. So, in case you didn't notice the giant thing, whatever it says, but of course, no. well, not that it helps us anyway. Some imperial because scholar all arrived in Skyrim a few days ago. Cyrodiil. I was staking out the road when I saw him pass by. Maybe that's your moth priest. Do you know where he's staying now? No, and I'm not going to waste men looking. We're fighting a war against your kind, and I intend to win it. You want to find him? Try talking to anyone who'd meet a traveler. Innkeepers and carriage drivers in the big cities, maybe. But you're on your own. Any idea how you're going to find a moth priest? Skyrim's a pretty big place. Well, back before I... You know. The College of Winterhold was the first place I'd think to go for any kind of magic. The wizards know about all kinds of things that people... Actually, now that I think of it, I've been really wanting to get out and explore a bit. I knew it would come to this one day. I knew. And no one believed.
Let's get indoors. Or in a cave. Anywhere. Just out of this. Restoration is a perfectly valid school of magic, and don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Why are my research material? Once again, I have found very insulting notes left in my personal effects. Simply barbaric. Archmage or not. My rules about a moth priest? What an oblivion do you need a moth priest for? Fine, fine. No need to get your britches in a twist. The obvious answer is to go to the Imperial City. The moth priest make their home. Sometimes they go out. He stopped in to do some research in the library, then left for Dragon Bridge. If you hurry, you might catch him there. I'm hoping to run my own in someday. Pasta, I don't know what um they didn't. It was only just a little bit ago. I bet you can catch them if you hurry up. Mm -hmm. Where'd you?
I knew I heard something. I heard something. the divines for you. Not as much as I would like. Even after spending decades of my life in study of the Elder Scrolls, they remain a great mystery to me. It's true for most of my brothers in the Order as well. We d what we do, these children, I'm afraid there's not much more to tell. Even today, the Elder Scrolls remain a great enigma. It is our... We read sometimes. That is the very purpose that... It is the... The lower... The top... I hope one day to see... <sighs> These vampires claim... You do? All right then. Enough mysteries. You have... If... My, I will be happy to... Very well. I'll hurry on my way there before more of those vampires turn up.
Hey, I got you something. Hope you like it. Yes? Mama! Wow! Thanks! Yes? Wow! Thanks! That'll teach you. Let's move faster. The sun is... It's not great for my skin, if you know what I mean.
What is it? That's... a long story. I guess... we kind of have to go way back, to the very beginning. Do you know where vampirism came from? Exactly. The first vampire came from Molag Ball. She... was not a willing subject, but she was still the first. Molag Ball is a powerful Daedric Lord, and his will is made reality. For those willing to subjugate themselves, he will still bestow the gift, but they must be powerful in their own right before earning his trust. The ceremony was... degrading. Let's not revisit that. But we all took part in it. Not really wholesome family activity, but... I guess it's something you do when you give yourselves to a Daedric Lord. Well, you've met most of us. My father's not exactly the most stable, and eventually he drove my mother crazy with him. And it all ended with me being locked underground for who knows how long. It's definitely been a bad thing, on the whole. A cure? I can't think of any reason I'd want to lose this gift. It may have driven my family apart, but I'm still here, and I'm alive. I'm no fan of the sun, but it would be better than this. you could find a moth priest so quickly. For the reading? Yeah. Just let the old man know when you're ready. My trip to... Ah, my rescuer! It's good to see... It's not exactly the hospitality I'm used to, but your man Isran... And might I add, this is a remarkable fortress. I have colleagues... Oh, most certainly. Let's find out what secrets the scroll can tell. Now, if everyone will please be quiet, I must concentrate. I see a vision before me. An image of a great bow. I know this weapon. It is Oriel's bow. Now a voice whispers, saying, Among the knight's children, a dread lord will rise. In an age of strife, when dragons return to the realm of men, darkness will mingle with light, and the night and the day will be as one. The voice fades and the words begin to shimmer and distort. But wait, there is more here. The secret of the bow's power is written elsewhere. I think there is more to the prophecy, recorded in other scrolls. Yes, I see them now. 
One contains the ancient secrets of the dragons, and the other speaks of the potency of ancient blood. My vision darkens, and I see no more. To know the complete prophecy, we must have the other two scrolls. I must rest now. The reading has made me weary. Come on, old man. You should get some rest. That moth priest, Dexian. He said we needed two other Elder Scrolls. I think I know where we can start looking. Half the people in your little crew would just as soon kill me as talk to me. That doesn't exactly make me want to open up. I got a warmer welcome from my father, and that's saying something. Ever since he decided to make that prophecy his calling, we kind of drifted apart. I don't even think he sees me as his daughter anymore. I'm just... a means to an end. We need to find my mother, Valerica. She'll definitely know where it is. And if we're lucky, she actually has it herself. The last time I saw her, she said that she'd go somewhere safe. Somewhere that my father would never search. Other than that, she wouldn't tell me anything. But the way she said it, some place he would never search. It was cryptic, yet she called attention to it. Maybe. What I can't figure out is why she said it that way. Besides, I can't imagine a single place my father would avoid looking. And he's had all this time, too. Any ideas? almost makes sense. There's a courtyard in the castle. I used to help pretend a garden there. All of the ingredients for our potions came from there. She used to say that my father couldn't stand the place. Too... peaceful. Oh, absolutely. But my mother's not a coward. That is, I don't think we'll actually trip over her there, but it's worth a look. True. But I know a way we can get to the courtyard without arousing suspicion. There's an unused inlet on the northern side of the island that was used by the previous owners to bring supplies into the castle. An old escape tunnel from the castle exits there. I think that's our way in. It's around the side of the castle. Let's move.
Yes. What did you need? Sorry, I'm not that easy to get rid of. If you want to run ahead, I won't stop you. But I'll be following. I can't wait to see the courtyard again. Archmage or not, my rules about books still... Finally came to your senses, huh? Realized what you gave up. Can't say I'm surprised. Tell you what, I'll sell it back to you for 4,000 coins. Oh, very well. I don't know how you expect me to keep this place in order when I can't make a profit. Ancano is exactly why I was so restricted yes. about access what did you to need? college. Whenever you're ready. We'd all have perished if it weren't for you. I mean, it is big, but, well, even bigger. Yes? What did you- Before my father became obsessed with a prophecy, my mom- She was very fond of her alchemical garden in the castle courtyard. She taught me quite a bit about cultivating quality re- Like the best of friends. I would never hesitate to share anything with her. It was very sudden. It was almost like one day we were a normal family, and then the next- I'd try to visit my mother in the garden, and she'd quickly shoo me away, saying she was much too busy. She had to be up to something in that garden. I'm hoping it's a clue that will tell us where she went. I can't wait to see the courtyard again. There's not a whole lot to t You've already seen my father's obsession. My mother's not a whole lot better, but you'll see that soon enough. My father... No, not really. 
I did spend a lot of time with my mother, but she saw me more like a protege. What about you? What were your parents like? I know how that feels. I mean, I know it isn't the same thing, but I was a pretty lonely child myself. Not as much. Let's, uh, let's just keep going.